Okay, I've casted quite a few games today, but uh, none of them really worth mentioning, I guess, unfortunately. Uh, I think we're just going to throw those casts in the garbage, but I I think we found a decent enough game here. This should be a fun one. We've got Sins, although I'm not really sure that this is Sins for sure. Like, I checked this ID and it wasn't coming up, so this might be like fake Sins. He is 2400 um, down here, Shao Shui. Xiao Shui, we know him, we love him. Chinese, little handsome. Been watching a lot of his games lately. He's been putting out some great matches against pro Korean players. And that's just the state of StarCraft right now is that Chinese players, pro players, Mihu and Xiao Shui and some others are getting in there. They're starting to make some headway. Um, they do live very close to Korea, although I'm not sure how the connection is because you do need a VPN to connect with anyone outside of China, unfortunately, that's just how they roll. A little bit unfortunate, but it's probably not too bad of a connection with people in Korea. And Xiao Shui here, gonna start with an overpool. Everything looking nice and normal. Forge here for Sins. I'm just gonna call him Sins, even though we're not 100% sure that it is Sins, but not really the biggest deal. Um,. Since gonna get in here and check out what Xiao Shui is up to. And not too much going on over here. Second probe was sent out. And he's actually bringing it forward. Is this gonna be for a cannon rush? I think maybe it will. Although, look at that. Spawning pool is done. So that's just definitely not the case now. Oh, he's gonna lose the drone. Well, that is a shame. He lost the drone. Can he actually get the kill on this? He should be able to. Oh, he messes it up. He messed it up. He's not going to be able to get that kill. He's not going to be able to get the natural down either. Oh, this is bad. This is bad for Xiao Shui, dude. Xiao Shui is in a lot of trouble right now. This double pro play, kind of insane. He's going to lose the... Oh, just go for it. What are you doing? Wow, we lost a probe there. That was kind of crazy. He really should have just gone for the kill, I think. Sack the probe. Felt like he wanted to try and sneak out after. <laughs> Still hanging around here at the natural, trying to block. It seems like a bit of wasted effort from Sins, but whatever. He did pretty darn good there. He slowed down this hatchery a million billion years. And... I mean, still not started. It's still not started. Holy crap. Three minutes. Second hatchery in the main, in fact. Because things were just so slowed down. I guess he threw that down, like, immediately after um, the natural got denied. I, I don't really see that too often, this hatchery in the main like this. But I guess it makes sense, given the circumstance. It's definitely not something I'm going to test out intentionally but um there's got to be something to this right we've got the, the extra uh larva here that can be really impactful and very important two cannons are about to finish up here second cannons on the way um zealot is about to pop out a lot more links were made so it looks like you wanted to run by but as long as the probes um are pulled here to the ramp it should be fine uh, he's going to get into the main, I guess. With two cannons, you still lose a lot of lings, though. Four lings do make it in here. We don't have speed or anything, but this could be a, a problem. Probably a good idea to just build a cannon here. Because you're already pretty far ahead, I would say, as sins. And, like, the cannon is not really going to cost you that much. Just a 150. Yeah, there it is. He does get that. So he goes ahead and gets that cannon and... Another hatchery pops down. We still don't have a gas yet. So things have just been slowed down just an atrocious amount at this point. So much damage has been done. One kill on this one ling. I don't think that was a probe inside the main, but I could be wrong about that. Drone's being pulled to ramp. He really doesn't want to let him know that he hasn't even started gas yet. He's actually going for something kind of crazy right now. It might be some sort of Evo chamber build. Where he goes ahead and gets his uh, Evo Chamber here really fast for a Spore to try and keep his Overlords alive. If that's the case, it's a good idea to actually pull your Overlords back home. It kind of looks like he's doing that right now. 
one the zealot's gonna move out on the map i don't really have much back at home right now just a couple of lings so definitely not wanting to lose any of those at this point he needs more lings although there are none in production Ling's just gonna keep running around here in the main base. This is a bit of a exercise in futility here, though, with the cannon already there. It's not like you're gonna get any extra kills. You're just gonna get scouting information, I guess. Double overload right now. We actually supply blocked. It looks like we are with no Ling's in production. Oh, thank God the Zealot's backed away. This is getting really scary. No Ling's in production. He couldn't build anything at that moment. He only had three Ling's. Four lings, and there's three zealots to come and pressure this hatchery. Which, I mean, you can put like half HP. You, you can bring the, the, um, the hatchery to like half HP with just three zealots just bashing away like that. Um, in the time it takes to build a, a few pairs of lings and get them to the front. So, still no ling speed here as well, by the way. But a few more lings did pop out. You can see how desperate he was to get something on the field he's just hammering out links now that the overlords have popped hydroden is done we've got uh muscular muscular augments on the way but cannons are being built here at the front what does sins know that we don't i guess he saw that there wasn't much over here and he's like you've got to be going for something crazy it's got to be some sort of hydralis bust everything's been slowed down so much he knows he knows building cannons here is not going to hurt him that badly. And just having enough is probably going to win him the game here. Since hiding Zealots over in the top left-hand corner, it's very sneaky right now. Because he knows it's likely a Hydra bu Hydralis bus is going to come in and this base will be undefended. Well, he's going to get rewarded here pretty handsomely with this number of Hydras coming out. Xiao Shuai just going to hit this timing here right as the Corsair pops to try and come into the natural. But look at that. Cannons are done. Five cannons, in fact, are ready. Cannon six and cannon seven are going to start. And that's enough to hold a lot of Hydras. Seven cannons. You can't really get through that. We'll see if Xiao Shuai tries it. He comes up to the front. He should be realizing like, wow. You already have this many cannons re uh, done? That's kind of insane. He must have known. Protecting the overlords here. Just a single Hydra. It's going to be enough for now. Still waiting with these Zealots. He's not going to send them in just yet. Is he waiting for speed or something? I don't think so. Or maybe we did get speed already. I'm not sure. He's just kind of checking around here looking. Seeing what's being produced right now. Maybe he's waiting for the Hydras to dive in before he goes in with these Zealots. Hopefully he hasn't forgotten about them over there. No, he's going to send them in now right as the Hydras are engaging. They have that speed. And here comes the Hydras. They're going to dive here on the first cannon. First cannon goes down. Forge is kind of low right now, but the uh, SimCity is actually helping the Zerg. Try to fight some of these probes, but at the same time, the Zealots are hitting this hatchery. Zealots... Getting this damage here. Zhao Shuai, he's actually got to bust through right now. He's going to lose the hatch. Pretty much no matter what at this point. He's got to get something else done on the map. Pushing forward here. Kills the gateway, but loses another Hydralis for free, unfortunately. And the Corsair doing some work on these overlords. No kills thus far, I think. But he has managed to destroy the third base. And this is horrible right now for Sao Shui. Sao Shui in desperation mode here. He's got just three hatcheries and only two bases versus the two base of Protoss. This man is in such a bad spot right now. It would be an absolute shock if he was able to take this game from this position. The Sins has built a lot of cannons. I mean, it doesn't matter really. You can build like 10 cannons. As long as you hold this attack, you're going to be in such a good position. It's very, very tough to lose. Evolution Chamber, Hatchery. Did we have an Evolution Chamber before? I guess not. So he's even way behind in the upgrades as well. Plus one is done, and we've already got plus two, plus one. 
on the way. Almost completed, in fact. He's going to be three upgrades ahead. Three upgrade advantage. Going to be on the side of Sins here. Once these two ups finish. That's insane. The amulet is coming. Singularity charge. He's going to get everything he needs. Go up to eight gateways and have just an insane army to push with. Chao Shui adding on more hatcheries. He's got his third now finally restarted at 10 minute 30. He's sitting here on two bases. It's just insanely rough right now. Zelts are going to be found out here on the map. It's a good little pickup for Shao Shui. He will be able to, you know, chase those around. Potentially capture them maybe down here at the bottom, 6 o'clock. If he can get enough Hydras on one side and this side as well. Could potentially, you know, run them down. That's good. Good stuff. Zelts checking out every corner of the map. He's just making sure that there's not like some sort of wacky double expand or something coming out of Shao Shui. But that would be pretty suicidal at this point. Zelts going to make their way over here to the center left again. Hydra's just not quite there in time to block over at the ramp, but Zealots are not interested in taking this fight. Instead, just going to back away, leaving here out the top side of the center left. They went on their whirlwind tour all the way around this side, all the way down through the bottom center, all the way up through the uh, center left, and back over here to the same place where they began. Kind of hilarious. These marathon runners here. Not interested in fighting at all. Just going to keep running around and checking out what Xiao Shui is up to. Well, Xiao Shui is a full 30 supply behind his opponent right now. But 11 mutas are going to come out. This is the gamble play. We like to see it. This is how we maybe come back in this game. It's going to be very rough still, no matter what happens. With the third base coming up for free here, there's really nothing you can do about that. A lot of cannons being added on over there. And there's Templar and Dragoons on the high ground, but you're, there is still a shot here. Maybe. If Shao Shui can snipe every Templar and take a big fight, he could trade out his army really, really efficiently. And, you know, delay the, the Protoss for quite some time. But he can't be getting flanked right now. If he gets flanked and the Storm comes in, he's going to be in a really bad spot. Now, coming in to the third base. Here we go. This is the gamble play. Okay, good Storm dodge to start off here. Looking for those Templar. Backing away. One does go down. A couple of Corsairs are being made now. Air weapons here coming as well. Going right for Gravitic Booster. He really wants to have speed for those uh, observers. Don't have a lot of drones here. Oh, he goes in. I'll have to picture and picture that. I think one Templar might have gone down, but he did a lot of damage on these mutas. Really not a lot of gas coming in right now as he goes to Hive. We do need to get those gases online. Two more Evolution Chambers coming, but I, we're almost plus three right now. Which is just next level upgrades here for the Protoss. It's so scary to even think about dealing with this. But Xiao Shui pushes on. He's got some Hydras over here in the top left. Gonna maybe try and take this base over here. You can uh, hold on to top left on Retro. There's, there's some potential here. Just barely sneaking by with the drone on the left side here. Might be able to get that up. And in position, potentially, to get this hatchery. Oh, that would be so sick if he sniped that drone. Not going to happen. At least not for now. Ooh, some mutas flying in. Just kind of getting wrecked. Oh, did we lose the mutas? I think I missed that. Actually, dive in and go for the mutas. I'll have to picture and picture a few things here. Just kind of paying attention up there in the top left. He does get the drone over into position. I'm going to go ahead and grab that. Unfortunately, the mutas didn't really do as much of the heavy lifting as we kind of needed here. We've still got a lot of Templar all around. And a fourth base is going to come up pretty soon. Buying time on the ramp here with the Zealots. The, the uh, Templar Dragoon army going to make its way up and prevent anything more from going down over here. 
This space will come up for Protoss as well. He's going to accelerate this into the late game here with this fourth base. Could even come down here, start throwing cannons on this high ground as well. And there's not a whole lot that can be done with this. But I think the Shao Shui is doing the right thing. He's looking for new bases. And he's gone to a pretty quick hive here. You know, 15 minutes in, he's already got the hive. Um, he's just now getting metabolic boost, which is kind of funny. Would have expected that to be done by now. But um, it's going to be a while before we can get uh, Adrenal here on those lings. However, Defiler's Mound is on the way now. About halfway done. Hatchery here in the top left. Just about finished as well. And then we can start a Nidus in this position. Single Lurker here in the center left. But more are on the way. Not quite enough Lurkers to hold in top left. But with eggs constantly being made on the ramp, maybe he can make it happen long enough to keep the Nidus or to get the Nidus up. A lot more drones being made here. Going up to 55. And Link's going to go ahead and check down bottom left. Make sure that there's no cannon up there on that high ground. Zealot's trying to run into the natural. Not going to happen. So much supply here, actually. 164 now. And Shao Shui just sitting, sitting tight here. Sitting pretty. Doesn't want to overextend or anything. Oh, the Corsairs go down really quick. Overlords? Overlords? Do we have overlords? They have speed. They better have speed right now. Yeah, they do. He's gonna lose a bunch of lurkers though, unfortunately. Lurkers getting sniped. Trying to go for that sneaky DT play. Got like two, three lurkers there, but loses all the DTs. Everything gonna have to back off for now. And this is pretty solid play overall for... Shao Shui. He's really made a game out of this. What I thought was going to be a pretty big stomp or a walkover for the Protoss player after that early game is turning into a pretty reasonable game here with four bases on either side. It's still not a good situation for Zerg, but it's certainly playable at this point with Hive and Defiler upgrades coming in. These upgrade advantages for Protoss are going to mean less and less as time goes on because... We're going to start to catch up here. Uh, we're not going to get the level 3 attack for Hydralis, but we will continue the upgrades here for Lings, and that's going to be huge. These Lings are really going to start trading well. Here's a base down here in the bottom right-hand corner. This is a big moment right now for Shao Shui. He actually does need to stop this base from going down. You can't allow this to go to split map. Split map is no bueno. Especially if he goes ahead and builds Robos down here. Robo, a bunch of cannons. It's going to get scary really, really fast. So hard to break through in a situation like that. So he's going to look to break through over here in the top left while taking this base in the bottom right. He's got a bunch of Templar down here. Some cannons are going to finish up as well. He's moving in towards this top left. Can he make any headway here? Actually going to fight with the Archon Zealot. And the Dragoons are actually fighting Lings, Cracklings right now, which is not the greatest. Ooh, not good control here from Sins. What if your Dragoons going down? As well as mo majority of the Zealots. Archons are going to get targeted here by the Hydras pretty soon as well. Really got to keep those alive to fight with the Cracklings. Very important that you do so. Ooh, another army coming down to the bottom left as well. What happened to all the Templar down here? They all just seem to have disappeared. All the Templar went down during this engagement. Shao Shui making a really great move down here to the bottom right. Able to pick off that base and he holds this right now. That is crazy. The fact that he shut this down and held over here has just completely switched the game into his favor. This was this was really, really Protoss favored for a long period in this game, but inch by inch, Shao Shui has slowly clawed his way back into this game. And now he's actually at a pretty big advantage. There's still moves to be made here for Sins, but it's looking darker and darker here. The walls are closing in. 146 applied to a cool 200. 
51 workers, maybe just not quite enough. Thinking about pushing into the bottom center. He doesn't want to allow any more bases to come up here. But he's about to get plagued. He's about to feel the wrath of the red goo. There it is. Goobering, gooping up everything here. Pretty decent storms. Time to make an Archon because those two Zealot or those two uh, Templar are completely out of energy, out of time here. A lot of links being made right now. Some mutas popping out as well. Uh, late game switch into muta, not a bad idea. We don't have a ton of anti air right now aside from these Archons. Dark Swarm here. It's very difficult to push up a high ground like this. That's a lot of wasted storms though. Honestly, a lot of wasted storms here to just get rid of this. And three guardians are on the way. He's going to make just three guardians to sit here and harass. Not a bad idea. Wow, so many cannons up here. What are we doing? One dark swarm. I'm going to be the bane of this man's existence. He's throwing down a lot of storms to deal with this. Zealots are going to come up as well. Another base. Maybe going to be put down here. No, the 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 probe gets killed. And here comes the uh, Guardians. Can he get the kill on this Templar before it's too late? Looks like he won't be able to. More storms here on the low ground. The Guardians are going to get to work now. Archon really can't do anything about this. Do we have any uh, Corsairs? It seems like not. One Guardian will fall. But these two are de doing their job right now. And it seems like Sins is starting to fall apart. He's actually moving through the middle of the map here. Going in the wrong direction while Shao Shui is actually pushing in. He's getting a lot of kills right now on these two guardians. More army being sent forth to try and bust through here. More storms being thrown down all on the top of this ramp to deal with these lings. They're actually killing so many lings right now. But it looks like the Templar, the storms are out. Instead, he's going to push over here into the natural. A lot of Archons here to fight with. That's so many lings popping out though and coming through with a flank at the same time it's just pure dragoon here it's gonna have to back up from the advancement of these lurkers good storms and nice backing up but he is still in range he does need to back up a little bit further another nice storm there but a dark storm finally does come down on top of this army he's gonna keep backing up and keep storming but he's running out of space to continue to do that he's backing up and backing up but eventually he does get surrounded everything gets cleaned beautiful cleanup here by Shao Shui. He's going to be able to take this fight and unfortunate final storm there. Kind of wiping out all of those Templar. Killing off a few. Oh my god. 14 and 11 kills here for these Guardians. They have done so much work. It is insane right now. Great storm there. But GG is called. There it is. Sin taps out well. Who we imagine is Sins. I'm not sure if it's really Sins, but there it is, guys. So many kills on these Guardians. They put in so much work. I am inspired right now with the way that Shao Shui was able to come back after so much difficulty in the early game. Losing the third hatch. Failing the Hydralis bust. You know, losing the drone even at the beginning of the match, right? He wasn't able to put down his natural for so long. Just grinding it out in the late game with pure macro skill. Very, very impressive stuff from him. Hope you guys enjoyed this match. Shao Shui putting on a great one, guys. Thank you so much for watching. And I'll see you in the next one.